That was quick. Ah, young people are so handy. Younger people have bundles of energy, and older people have a wealth of wisdom. Each have their strengths. Speaking of youth, do you know what? It's been 50 years this year. Oh, so it has. Goodness, how the time flies. You barely notice as the years go by, but then suddenly, 50 years have passed. 50 years since what? Some important day? <laughs> well, if you must know, it was 50 years ago, back in the days when this young lady was still trying to win me over, that... Oh, stop trying to impress them. <laughs> We both know you were the one who was hopelessly smitten and desperately trying to win my affection. Well, maybe you're right. <laughs> Fifty years ago, I proposed to my wife at the Naganahara fireworks show. We've been together ever since. Mm, to tell the truth, I was still a little uncertain. I wasn't sure what I was doing when I walked into the Naganahara's shop and ordered my firework. Even as it was rising up into the sky, I still had no clue what I was going to say. But then it exploded, the sky lit up, I looked back at her and saw her eyes twinkling in the light of the fireworks. Before I knew what was happening, apparently, I'd already said it, and, well... She'd said yes. Fifty years. In some ways, it's a long time. In others, it's no time at all. Really, it's just a number. But fifty years of being together? Now that is something worth commemorating. I had no idea it was your 50th anniversary. If I'd known, I would have made some extra fancy fireworks just for you. Oh no, it's quite all right. We always set off the same firework every year. It wouldn't be the same without it. Seeing that firework go off takes us right back to those days. Even at this age, we still look back with not a single regret. Ah, oh, what a great relationship they have. <laughs> Enough about us, though. Yoimiya. Aren't you busy with the fireworks show coming up? Was there something you needed to discuss? Yeah, um, it's a difficult thing to talk about, but here goes. Mm, Sakujiro. So he came back. Huh? You know him? He was our boy's best friend when they were young. <sighs> They were inseparable. They grew up together, shared everything with each other, and went everywhere together. But one day, they had a terrible argument. Sakujiro seemed to feel that Inazuma was too peaceful, and wanted to see what the outside world was like. But our Keisuke took after his father and mother. He felt that there was nothing wrong at all with being peaceful. You know what children are like. They get terribly worked up about these sorts of things. In the end, Sakujiro stormed off, and that was that. I see. Keisuke said nothing to me or my wife about the fight. We could sense that he was very hurt by it, but... He didn't want to talk with us about how he was really feeling. Eventually, whether out of pent-up anger or for some other reason, he joined the Tenryo Commission. He rarely comes home anymore. If it was anything else, I could talk to Keisuke, and I'm sure he'd be willing to help. But since it's Sakujiro, I don't feel there's any way we can get involved. What a strange coincidence! Who'd have thought? I understand now. When I asked Sakujiro why he came back, he just said because of past mistakes and wasn't willing to elaborate. Now I finally understand why he can't decide what to do. Two best buddies in childhood. One grows up to join the Tenryo Commission, the other grows up to join the Tenryo Commission's most wanted list.
Well, no worries. If that's the case, then never mind. We can find some other way to help Sakujiro. There's no need to make things difficult for you. This sounds like something for Sakujiro and Keisuke to resolve between themselves. Yes. Oh, it'd be so nice if they could go back to the way things were. I think after all these years, they ought to let go of their grudges. <sighs> well, can't say we didn't try. I'll let Sakujiro know after we get back. Mia, something bad's happened. Some people from the Tinrio Commission came by. Huh? Why? Do they know? Pops, are you all right? They didn't do anything to you, did they? I told them the show was starting soon and the place was filled with fireworks, so they shouldn't go in because it's a fire hazard. But they didn't listen. It seemed like they knew Sakujiro was inside. Luckily, Sakujiro heard them coming in time and managed to escape through the window. The Tinryo Commission wasn't able to capture him. Oh, this is bad news. I don't think Sakujiro had enough time to make his mind up. Pops, did you see where he went? Oh, the Tenryo Commission will definitely be chasing after him. Good point. Names. We need names! Suddenly showing up like this, surely it must be Keisuke's doing. The Commission wouldn't normally cause this big of a fuss over a stowaway. Oh, sorry, my ears are no good. And I didn't get a good look at them either. If you're wondering which way they went, they left the city. I wish I'd caught their names. Oh, but I didn't hear a thing. As it happens, I did. I was getting some ore from my friend's place and happened to bump into them on the way over. I think their leader's name was Keisuke, just like you said. Just as I thought. Thanks. If Sakujiro still hasn't made up his mind, those two running into each other won't solve anything. And even worse, there'll be no coming back from it for Sakujiro. We can't let that happen! Come with me. Let's track them down. Yeah. <laughs> 